goodness. Good morning, everyone. When it rains, it pours. It's been raining a lot in Missouri lately. And um, currently right now, the RV is not operational. Cannot fire her up because the engine is in pieces. Yes, we have uh, torn into the engine. <laughs> Come on, Rain, I'm trying to get my RV fixed. Um, we're at base camp at Robert's Place in Missouri near Kansas City. And we got Jason and Candace also here because we were going to hang out. <laughs> Don't make plans to hang out with me. <laughs> it will flood. Uh, we got a lot to cover here in this video. We're going to peek underneath the wheel well here real quick. So you might be able to see in there, valve covers off the passenger side. The valve cover is uh, currently on the ground in front of the RV there. Yeah. Let me roll a clip of what was going on uh, after doing an oil change on Miranda. All right. Well, the good news is Robert just finished doing all 10 spark plugs. The, this is just a look at uh, one of them. They weren't terrible bad. There wasn't anything alarming. None of them had any problems coming out. But again, didn't see any real problems with any of the ones we pulled out. So, but either way, the RV's got 76,000 miles. So, you know, getting that tune up good and getting new spark plugs in there is awesome. Uh, you'll also remember the um, about 450 miles ago, that new exhaust manifold gasket is holding good. There is no exhaust leak, so that's awesome. The new thing is, I got the kitties in here, so I'm not going to run this for very long, is the ticking sound. The ticking sound coming from the right side, valves here. And uh, it gets louder with accelerating, here I'll show you. So, I don't know to be worried about that ticking or not. Uh, Robert's gonna get a stethoscope and see what he can find, see if, see if we can find out where that might be coming from, but, um, at least it's not as bad as the, the really loud ticking sound from the exhaust leak, you know? Yeah, when I first got here, the first day that it wasn't raining as much, I did an oil change on the generator, and then Robert helped me with the RV, both generators, actually, and then we did an oil change on the smart car as well. And that's when we fired it up and you know luckily that that remflex exhaust manifold gasket has held strong but after that started after that sound went away then we heard the ticking inside the engine and so robert pulled out his uh, mechanical stethoscope and started snooping around there and put it right on the uh, passenger left side right side uh, valve cover there and so that's where it's coming from and that's where we tore into a few things and um I don't know, I just felt like I can't put off making a video anymore. <laughs> I'm soaking wet. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'll get back to you. Yeah, so Robert invited uh, Jason and Candace and Annie and Chloe from Camping with the Kellys over to his property here. Also, he's got lots of room over here. We, we were just going to hang. I think they're kind of waiting for us to get some decals and stuff done and some, some new upgrades on their RV. So, you know, we all just kind of had the same amount of downtime. So it just kind of made sense. So let's just all hang out. We didn't realize how much it was going to rain these last few days. However, we've made the most of it. And actually, it might be slowing down out there. It is. It is slowing down the rain. Thank goodness. We were supposed to get like a two-hour break. But then it's then it's just going to return. Um, I, you know, I wanted to get you guys caught up the, on, on, on a couple things. Uh, first, first of all, you know, we, we've been making the most of the rain. Uh, we all went out and had some Mexican the other night. That was awesome. We also found uh, an, an arcade nearby that had some really cool games. Uh, uh, oh, we uh, set up my projector on the back screen, just my little projector under the cover so we could watch movies. We watched two, two different movies, two different nights outside, uh, you know, so just trying to make the most of weather that has not been cooperating. As far as the RV, here's, here's what I want to get you caught up on. Because when Robert fixed the exhaust manifold gasket leak, that horrible exhaust sound, that's when it became evident that we had an engine ticking, knocking, going on. We, we couldn't hear that uh, for because every time I had replaced that gasket seal, it would always come back. So there, there, there's no telling 
at that time how long that, that ticking sound had been going on and what kind of damage it had done. Um, but since I have a safe spot to park here, I kind of, kind of realized that maybe this would be a good time to pull off that valve cover and take a look in there. So Robert dug into it and uh, what we found is, yeah, there's the uh, rocker arm there guys. And I'm gonna turn it over like this so you can see how worn it is. This rocker arm, and I have 10 of them, because it's a, it's a V10, this one failed for some reason. The bearing that allows that to spin had stopped spinning and had caused some visible damage, even on the bottom there. It's possible that I have been operating on one less cylinder for quite some time and been seeing some performance issues going on with, with, with the RV. Now, now luckily, Robert is, is, is convinced that the, the camshaft on that side is okay. The, the, the lobe on, on this end is not like shaved off to a point where, where it's not going to hit and going to cause more damage. Uh, if, if we'd lost it much longer or, or, or if I'd waited too much longer, this could have done some permanent damage on that. That camshaft and we would be having a different discussion right now uh, doing that kind of work here but none, nonetheless it's just it's just been slow going because we had to get the uh, lifter so we got the new lifter I'm going to pick up the new rocker arm today hopefully but I don't know if we're gonna put it in because it's, it's, it's raining outside and not all this is in inside accessible through the uh, doghouse but um, this isn't terrible news, but it's definitely not exciting news. It would have been awesome if there was just one loose spark plug and that was the ticking, but no, things fail. Um, I, I also want to look back and think, you know, ooh, that was thunder. Oh, yeah, we've been getting thunderstorm warnings the last few days too. Actually, all week, but it is thunder. Anyway, so it is possible that because of that exhaust leak, if there was too much oxygen getting in under the valves there, that that, that could have made this seize up. So a lot of people told me, you know, a lot of mechanics here on my channel said, Eric, don't worry about that exhaust leak. You're putting way too much effort. You're repairing it too often. You're not going to fix it. And it's not going to do any damage. Actually, <laughs> before, before we move on here, I, I know there's some people still saying that I should park it wait for that camshaft to come in in a week. It's not even really a job Robert wants to do. And I, I talked to Wayne and he said, well, <laughs> if you want to bring it down here, we can, we can try to tackle that. He, he did offer in, in uh, Florida. It's just, I think, let's just see if the ticking goes away first. Doesn't that make the most sense? But put in the new lifter, put in the new rocker arm, seal it all back up. That's so loud thunder. <laughs> That's kind of terrifying. Um, and, and see if the ticking's gone. At that point later on, if the RV's back to running on 10 cylinders, maybe I can uh, plan something out for the, for, the, for, the, for the future. I don't want to be in Florida right now. It's getting hot and nasty and humid down there. In the meantime, our, our kitty advisors, Jack's man, Tara, you guys are too cute to two. Too cute to two. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So we're kind of, we're not just held up here because I've got my engine tore apart. You know, Jason and Candace are also waiting for their stuff. So if we can patch all this up, uh, the three of us all decided Robert's got his bus. We may go down and go and go camp and just try to clear our minds if it's, if it's not going to be horrible rain. I can deal with some rain, guys. That's the thing. I'm okay with a little bit of rain here and there, but it's got to stop from time to time so you can do something outside. There's no reason going to a campground if, you, if we're all just going to be uh, sitting inside our RVs by ourselves. You know what I mean? So now I've got you caught up with what's going on with the motor. Technically at this point, it's, it's not as bad as what was going on with, with Yoda, where we had to do the, the complete top rebuild and do all the lifters or all the, the, the fuel injectors, the injectors. This one, uh, I, I, we may have caught it in time before it did some really bad motor damage. And that was the other thing is when we checked the oil, there was no metal in the oil at all which probably means the uh, oil filter did its job because clearly from looking at that rocker arm, there should be some metal from the rocker arm itself. Maybe not so much the camshaft. It's a little dirt, more durable metal, but now we know what it looks like moving forward and just, why couldn't it just be a spark plug? No, so also I had talked about when I hit the road from the house that it was kind of my intention to 
you know, this summer try to get a little ahead where I wasn't feeling so rushed like, oh crumb, I need, I need a video, I need to make a video right now and upload it tomorrow. I don't like living like that because it stresses me out a little bit. Uh, I, you don't know how much time has passed between the last video you just saw and this one right here. A lot more time has passed, but I don't want to leave huge, huge gaps and not have videos and have people unhappy with my upload schedule. So I'm back to like, oh crap, where's my cushion here, right? So it's starting to rain, I'm gonna go back in. It's possible that I am gonna lose that cushion once again and my plans may change once again. We got about, what, five minutes of no rain there. So I'll go pick up that part when they call me. It's supposed to be due in a couple hours. We'll uh, soak both the lifter and the rocker arm in oil, probably overnight, and, tr and try to get this put back together tomorrow. And I will reevaluate my plans going to the Northeast once again after I get back on the road and think about a few things. So. Tara Bear, you gonna use your, your, your new window cling bed that, that Candace gave you? Candace gave us that uh, suction cup bed there and it looks really comfy but i can't i can't force her into it i gotta just let her try it out for herself and she hasn't she hasn't found it yet she hasn't uh she hasn't tested it out yet so have to wait and see she, she really is intrigued by uh, raindrops for some reason she's just enamored by raindrops falling down the windshield well get used to it girl because traveling with me we're gonna see a lot of rain okay where's jacks well, of course, Jax is right there in his bed that says Jax. He's a good boy. He is a good boy, Jax. I love you. I'm sorry for the rain. Yeah. Sorry about that, man. Oh, here comes Tara. She says, man, you guys are talking without me. Yeah, well, it happens. All right, Jax. Love you, man. All right, O'Reilly's just called me, so we're going to take in the smart car down to go pick up that rocker arm part. It's actually not the... I was supposed to get that part yesterday. I ordered it online, and it was guaranteed. Well, it got it got lost in transit, so we had to order a second one. So this is this is take two for that one tiny little rocker arm part. But he, said it, he said he's got it in his hand. It's good to go today. Just dealing with more moistness. Hey guys, it is the next day. Hey look, it's raining. It's it's pouring rain. Just raining, raining, raining. <laughs> we are we are we we might get a, a 10 second break here and we'll go back to work here. Good news is I got the new rocker arm bearing. So this is the new good one, as, as you can see. It spins, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Okay? And then in the other hand finger, there's the lifter. The new lifter okay so just gonna soak these for a little bit in oil to kind of prime them and get them ready then we'll wait for a break and robert's gonna hopefully get all this put back together so thankful he's uh willing to help me with this here and uh, hopefully before it gets dark the rv will be running again operational so all right they're soaking in there tara's still up here on the dash what do you smell about those raindrops, huh? It's pretty crazy. You gonna test out your bed ever? She still has not gone in that voluntarily, so I don't think it's gonna work. I just, I don't, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, so actually uh, we have decided to put this off uh, because the radar is just gonna keep raining where I'm at all night tonight, unfortunately. And it's gonna rain hard. So uh, once again, we're just gonna have to wait one more day and watch some movies. I'll get back to you. Doing all I can do here, guys, and I am striking out. I'm not alone. It's just, this is not how I envisioned fixing the RV every day, getting delayed. You know, I've been hanging out with Jason and Candace and, and Robert, you know, like, like I said, we've just kind of made movie night a thing on the back porch, and uh, and we're all just hanging out inside our RVs. It's just, it's not how we pictured this working. Out of my control. This is a pretty important job. We cannot get water in the oil. So.
See you guys next time. Everything is awesome.